Alrighty, guys. So we are doing a plush review on the DC Comics or DC's Justice League Wonder Woman plush I got for Walmart three days ago. Um, yeah, they're like six dollars and ninety-seven cents. You only get like five of these characters in the plushies, like Cyborg, Superman, um, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Flash. And I just got Wonder Woman because she looks cool. So, yeah. Um, what's really weird? This is she doesn't have her skirts. Like, if y'all know in the comics, like the Rebirth comics, like the newer comic books of Wonder Woman, she is wearing a skirt now that's supposed to be inspired by the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman from the movies. But I guess in this one, they just made it look like the classic Wonder Woman look. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take the tags off and see what she looks like without the tags on. Here's the tag. You can see the WB logo and DC Comics logo and the Just Play logo. Now, this plushie is really small. And what's really cool... She can sit down like the Disney plushies and the Marvel plushies, too. But anyway, guys, this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. And yes, like I said, I got this from Walmart three days ago. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Another early June unboxing review uh, video for you guys. So yeah, um, I got the Just play Batman plush. I got this at Walmart yesterday. Now, yes, this is just like the Wonder Woman one I reviewed last month. And yes, they're only like $6.97. Look at the details of this plushie. Um, yeah, uh, Really soft. Um, I found the exact same Batman plushie that y'all are seeing me reviewing right now, here, right now, on eBay for $15. Why would they sell a small little plushie that is the size of your hand on eBay for $15? That makes no sense. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks like without the tag on. In 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, here he is without the tag. And by the way, yes, um, I do have a Batman plushie I use in plush skits, like the Robert Patterson plush. This one's just based on from the comics, because you can tell the little bat symbol does not have the circle in it. Because the way how I remember Batman, he has a circle, a big yellow circle with a bat on it. But anyway, this plush review is going to get 100 out of 100. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, guys. So two months ago on May 13th, we reviewed the Wonder Woman plush. Then, Friday of three weeks ago, we reviewed the Batman plush. And now, we are reviewing the Superman plushie by Just Play. Now, yes, I said it before, like, twice. These plushies are, like, $6.97 at Walmart. And, yes, I bought this two days ago. And, um, yeah. Uh, I just want to review it early for August. Because I'm trying to get done with July's unboxings, you know. I already filmed a few things for July already. So, anyway. Anyway. Guys, let's take the tag off Superman's hand and see what he looks like without the tag on. Here is the tag, and here is the plush without the tag on. 
Now, just letting you guys know, I have been up all night. Um, I was supposed to film this review, like, tonight, but I, um, want to do it, do it early because I'm tired. But anyway, guys, this review is gonna get 100 out of 100. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Fourth November unboxing. Now, yes, y'all may know, um... I haven't done one of these plushy reviews on a DC plush. Like, the last time I reviewed a DC Comics plushie by Just Play was the Superman one I reviewed, like, three months ago. Then I reviewed the Batman plushie, you know, the one that's also Just Play back in June, which was four months ago. And then, five months ago, I reviewed Wonder Woman, so... That was like three times I reviewed a Just Play DC Comics plushie. Now, I picked up Flash at Walmart the other day. Now, like I said, these plushies are like $6.97, closely to $7. Now, yes, um, here he is. I don't know if he's doing a smirk or an angry look. Uh... Let me know down in the comments below. Now, yes, um, what's really weird that they forgot to paint the circle in. Like, colored in the circle. But I guess this looks like the new 52 Flash from the comics, or the Grant Gustin Flash from the CW. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. And tell me about it. Now, yes, y'all know I have been collecting other things. Except for WWE, anime, video games, movies, comics. Sometimes anime comic books. Or like art things. I also collect Marvel and DC, which y'all already know that. I've been collecting these since I was real little. Uh, which, back then I always liked... Superman, but I also got into other characters too, like Batman. Didn't know who Wonder Woman was back to, back then. I know who Green Lantern Flash was, but not Wonder Woman until I found out found out who she was. Till like maybe 2008 or 9, I don't remember, but yeah, um anyway, uh this is the fourth DC Comics Just Play plushie I'm reviewing for November. Again, I have not reviewed one of these since three months ago on July 1st, which was on Superman. Now, Flash, again, I picked him up just two days ago. Like, I bought him at Walmart two days ago. Now, yes, I need my little friend here. The scissors. Where I use... On the plushies I reviewed for October's unboxing a few weeks ago. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off in 3, 2, 1. I don't know why, but these tags are really small. But here's the tag. Uh, sadly, they do not use that logo anymore because they are using like a retro-like logo. And here is the... Um, Just Play logo, because y'all know it's made by Just Play. Now, let's get to reviewing the plushie in 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys, so here's the flash without the tag on. And yes, y'all know, it says on the thumbnail, this is my second flash plushie. I do have one for a plush skit. I haven't used that one since, like, a year ago. So anyway, um, this plush review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe.